Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux, which we're playing as the Kingdom of France. Last time, we've done, we did very, very well, um, but now, the Russian state declared war on Austria, one of our puppets. So, yeah, that's not great. Um, we're still fighting in Africa and whatnot, but Russia is like, I don't want Austria for ourselves. Um, but I took some of your suggestions from the previous episodes. I've given the UK back to Canada. Of course, we have Ireland under that uh, for us. We've liberated the Dutch East Indies, which I wish they were a puppet of us. And we also liberated the German Union here, because I like a strong-ish Germany, as long as they're okay and they're smart. Wait, why do we leave some under the German Union? They're paternal autocrats, and we're national populists. Whatever. Um, but we did take the Rhineland just because I wanted the Rhineland, and we make us stronger, we can the Germans, it gives us more factories too, so. However, now we're at war with all these guys too. So, this kind of sucks. I really wanted this episode to be a... Hey, this is an epilogue episode. I was literally planning on calling this episode epilogue, but the game had other ideas, unfortunately. So now we're fighting all of the co-prosperity sphere. But really, I guess my main goal for this camp part of this campaign is, uh, oh, fight with Oh, okay. Um, just gonna finish out the story here. The Treaty of Versailles. For the first time since the defeat of Napoleon III in 1870, we have humiliated the box for good. The hegemony of the German Empire does not seem to have lasted long as their surrender. After the surrender, German representatives and diplomats, led by the urgently appointed Chancellor Gunther von Kluge, met us today in the forest of Compagnie. More precisely, in a wagon already nicknamed the Wagon Compagnie, to discuss the honorable terms of peace. First agreements were made, heavy war operations, a consequence uh, reduction of the German army, an abolition of the empire, an abdication of the Hohenzollern dynasty, severe economic limitations, and a total alignment with France in terms of foreign policy are only some of the main humiliations Germany suffered. The German delegates were forced to accept, as no other way seemed to exist. After the preliminary agreement, an official treaty would be signed at the Palace of Mirrors in Versailles, where the German Empire was proclaimed in 1871. But the nature of the future German state will be defined, no doubt that Bismarck is ashamed of his country at this time. The Marshal Monclo will lead a normally independent Germany, but subject to French interests. To assure loyalty in Germany, but to give the facade of independence, a new German state will be formed under the leadership of Field Marshal and recent collaborator Gunther von Klug. We're going to trust him. That's an Alphonse Georges to maintain order. I mean, under military occupation, in the form of a German protectorate under Alphonse Georges, and install a new king, the King of Bavaria, as a king of a new Catholic German Empire. First organization, Deutsche Action. Made up of a few German intellectuals following Masurisma through a thought of the leadership of a new German kingdom under the kingdom of Bavaria. I like that one the most. That's awesome. I love how much work the devs have put in here. Welcome aboard, Rupert I. Someday we may use you, and uh, because we are the kingdom of France, uh, under Henri IV, we might have a royal marriage between us someday. We're bringing back the old Empire of Charlemagne. Maybe. Ish. Um, but we're doing alright. It's not great. It's not bad. Chipotania, we'll talk about that once we capitulate him. But we're going in immediately. Because, well, we pretty much have to at this point. Oh. There you go. And now go in. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. I guess we have modern tanks. There's no real point to do it, I guess, at this point. Let's see what we can do. But Oh, we're going to run out of fuel here, aren't we? you and fuel ah Belgium Boop. very nice very nice well we're gonna go in um, interesting flag there independent state of Czechoslovakia very interesting you guys are still racing the line modern carriers are nice I literally did not want this war but we are literally defending against the Russians Sucks. I can't imagine the Russians putting up too much of a fight here. The biggest problem would be the Japanese and trying to get all the way to the islands. They've got a lot of manpower still. They're on all don't serve though. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. We're going to need to increase our plane production too. So we'll get as far as we can. Let the game go as far as we can, and uh, kind of go from there, really. Oh! Bullshit the wing and come off? Oh, I guess I'll take block. Well. No. 
in the end it won't really matter. We have a few people caught and trapped in here, which really sucks for us, but whatever. That's very nice. Are you guys at the line? Go in if you can. Yeah, this sucks. Our guys got trapped here, and there's nothing they can do. Oh my god, it's a huge part of our army. Okay. There's literally no mercy with these guys then. Go in and force it. Cernica's gone, good. Good. Kill every last one of them. Arms length, very nice. You can uh, let them leave. <coughs> Release Triplotania? Uh, we could. I kinda like the blue though. Oh, my finger slipped. Return Belgian lands? We'll see when we get there. So, these guys are all killing each other. We're actually not fighting the Ottomans. We are fighting all the way through here, so... Oh, the Persian state's gone. Good. Uh, we, read, we did this one last time. We read this one, so... Uh, read this, please. Go ahead. And then we're going to continue with the Organic State Realized. After every struggle which we have necessarily endured over the AF's long history, and after all the hellish bloodshed of the liberation France is truly at last free, Moras has realized his dream of an orderly organic state, built around a natural social hierarchy and lord of the valleys of the Latin race, all united under a valiant and wise king. With the place of the AF party fully secure and the people's loyalty secured, assured we've truly succeeded. Viva le roi et viva la France. Beautiful. It goes Kurdistan, I guess. And Siam. British Empire returns to Isles. Congrats. It's been a long delay. I mean, we had to sort through a lot of things. Unfortunately, we lost all that territory up here, but whatever. Uh, we need more fuel. Looking alright so far. Like, oh god, we're even fighting freaking China, too. Wow. Oh, Canada has ties with the monarchy. Interesting. People have spoken. So we're going to go to service bar requirement now, too. We need it. And what else? So if I control anything else. Integrate Wallonia and Luxembourg. Luxembourg. And until in Kurdistan, they were on the Ottoman Empire. Well then. There's a lot of things going on down here. I have a, a main fleet down here too, huh? Nice. Tons of convoys lost. Wow. Oh crap, that was a big battle there. Sure, look at that more, but whatever. the Ottomans. What are the losses like so far? Quarter million? Mostly in Deutsch, Middle Africa, huh? 3.68 million for the, these guys. How many Russians? We've got half a million Russians. And we've cut off 130... Almost two hundred forty thousand dollars. One hundred forty thousand Japanese. That's interesting. Ah, good. Pretty good. Global economic power is great. Look, man, I didn't want this war. La mort du matre. The greatest tragedy of the 20th century has struck France. Charles Maras, the most influential philosopher, writer, poet, and politician in France, who led us during the exile of Fon Lamarche and Maréchal, during the liberation and during the reconstruction, has died. A tragedy not only for Action Francais, but for France as a whole, but is just such as Prime Minister and Master. Action Francais' position has been weakened, but will do our utmost to continue Maras' work. Wow. 
and more, 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 more. When you're down, even more after that. Blood to inland? Huh. I'm not super concerned about all of this. This is just a pain in the butt. And our allies have destroyed any certain supply up here, so I'm actually gonna probably throw you up here, maybe. Losses. Albania's almost gone. Very nice. There you go. So they still have infantry equipment. They have no anti-tank. They have heli no helicopters. Interesting. If we could capitulate Russia in this episode, uh, I'd be pretty happy with that. Artillery and rocket artillery, huh? Keep building everything else first. State realized. Very nice. Even though we're going to have a little bit of a tragedy here. Um, I guess we do this one. Without our various allies around the world, we would have achieved nothing. As such, we must repay the sacrifices with favorable trade terms and military aid. Let's guarantee that their loyalty to us continues so they go and arm and arm to a new era. How are we doing here? We're holding. For the most part. Hey, there goes Albanians. Pesky Albanians. Go in. Ooh, I do not want to call these guys in because they have a lot of guys around there. These guys will be very good pushing in through here. Sold for now. What's the air battle like? It's, it's absolutely mixed. This survey's gone. That's good. They have a lot of few planes. They've been killing a lot of our planes off. We're doing good air damage, though. We need more planes in general, though. Oh, we're out of fighters. That's really not good. A near death experience. While Charles Moras was visiting his native Provence, he decided to go to the Valdon or Forest to see the monument dedicated to French resistance fighters against communist art oppression. He asked his guards to stay back and pay their respects and alone in silence, but it seems that communist terrorists ambushed him and tried to beat the old man to death. Fortunately, the intervention of the bodyguards who had heard of the noises had saved Moras' life. He was rushed to the hospital in Aix and Provence. 
A state of health still uncertain after many treatments, some of the ultra Catholics present drew the conclusion that this was proof of the ineffectiveness of modern medicine, saying that only God could save the Master. Calling for a halt to all treatments and for them to be replaced by a relentless prayer, Maurice Puggio, himself a devout Catholic, exposed the ridiculousness of such a proposal and pointed out that Maras had Maras never doubted medicine, ordering the doctors to continue their operation. However, after Puggio's departure from Marseille, it appeared that ultra Catholics have continued their pressure and may well break down the doctors and nurses. Then they needed ultra Catholic pressure. Well, Orthodox Marossians with a pen. Let's see what happens. So let them attack us for now. I'm done attacking them at the moment. You guys, with concentrating your forces here, should be okay. Should be. I can't imagine the Russians having a lot of equipment, in all honesty. After all this war they fought again and again and again and again. I, mean, I, guess, I guess they have a lot. More than us, really. I love the green air, though. There's in quite a few planes, though. Oh, maybe I'm not using 1944 planes, am I? Huh. Did I never research them? I guess I never researched them. That's bad of me. Whoopsie. Nope. The Master's departure. Sad news from Paris. Echoing throughout the nation, Charles Moras is dead, already bedridden. <coughs> For some months, his departure came as nothing as came as something as a shock to the country. Even if Charles Moras was not a personality who often spoke in public, probably due to his deafness. According to those close to him and those who knew him, the agnostic Moras had a certain return to the faith during his last days, when he asked for extreme action uh, uh, and recited the confetter. He also asked for his rosary, which he never used. His last words have been said, for the first time I feel something, someone coming. The action français. With the collaboration of the king, I was already preparing a grand funeral for the philosopher, which will take place in saint symphorien de tours Charles Moras' birthplace. The king has announced a period of national mourning which no prime minister will be appointed, but with Moras' body already going cold and certain cracks already appearing in the internal stability of our organization, we can hope that the dream of Moras still does, does not die with him. The political bureau will govern France until the successors to the Matre is chosen. The funeral of Charles Moras. Just a few days after his death, the grand funeral was held in the church of St. Uh, Symphorine in Nouvelle Aquitaine. In snowy weather, for Charles Moras, Prime Minister of France and the Master of the Action Francais, many Action Francais dignitaries were present, including Maurice Bougeot and Leon Daudet, who gave long speeches extolling the virtues of the philosopher. The King of France himself was present, expressing his condolences and pledging that the Capetian dynasty would never forget Moras and his contribution to the greatness of the French kingdom and nation. Pour la première fois, je tens quoi venir. I am so bad, I do not know how to pronounce that. My apologies. So you guys are actually up here. Huh. Hmm. Second front, a different front. So then now what? I guess we must wait still. Review the military. In the immediate aftermath of the liberation, the French military went into some declines as funds were directed to reconstruction, and many soldiers were lost in the course of the war. Now that France is back on its feet, however, we can gain again increase military funding, beginning with investments in tactical advancement and expansion of the officer corps. Any Prime Minister, the death of Maras has still shocked the world. 
<clears throat> but a nation needs to be led. This is why the king announced that he would appoint a new prime minister today to assist him in the heavy task of leading the kingdom. Obviously, it will be a member of the Action Francais. And the most obvious candidates are Maurice Bourgeois and Maxime Real de Sart. Ooh, you need guns. And guns you will have. For the most part. Ooh. Pujo is a personal friend of Maras. He is one of the founding members of the Action Francais and Camelot du Roy, whose convictions were very close to the throne of Maras. Except that Pujo had electoral ambitions while Maras refused to participate in any Republican elections. Maxime Del Rio Sarté is uh, the current president of the Camelot du Roy, a talented sculptor with an energetic character whose devotion is no longer to be proven. He is, however, far from the calm character of Maras and is prone to violence and anger. He is also a great admirer of Jean Arc, who is even more, any, more, even more than any other member of the Action Francais. A less orthodox choice is that of Pierre Boutang, a personal friend of the King Henri. He's a talented and productive intellectual and academic, with unparalleled respect for Moras, but his so-called neo moras doctrine differs on many points from that of his model. A most unusual choice would be Jean-Marie Le Pen. His, his support in Action Francais is limited, but all the other leagues have agreed to propose him as Prime Minister. His charisma and unique rhetorical methods have allowed this young radical to find massive popular support among the masses. Peugeot, uh, ultra-nationalist. Maxime del, Re, del Sarte, Real del Sarte, supporters of the young Camelot. Pierre Boutin, Neo Morazma is the way, or Jean Le Pen? I could do either one of these two, Boutin. Christianity at the forefront. Revisit our policies of anti France. Get more compliance, I like that. That birth of Neo Morasma. Neo Morasisma. Neo Morasisme. Or Le Pen. New vision for France. Lesson our locals in decentralist positions. True national front. Usher in the preference national principles. Or his eternal legacy. I kind of like his eternal legacy. Either one of these two, I think, would be great. All of them are fun. It seems like Peugeot, Peugeot probably is this one. Let's go with that one. Maurice Peugeot, a friend of Maras and founder of the Camelots du Roy and the Maxime Real del Sarta, president of the Camelots du Roy. <coughs> Succeeded through the combined efforts and unifying the action Francais before it sank in factionalism and chaos. They now intend to carry on uh, Maras' policies in the most orthodox way possible. The people of the kingdom can rest assured that our utopia will continue forever. And yes, it shall. You concentrate forces here. down there. Are I still attacking up here? Yeah, here and there. Just wow. Mm, they're close enough. That should be okay. Nope. Sure. Nope. That's a lot of losses, especially from the Russian state. Okay. Uh, we've cut off what? A third of a million? Cut off 1.4 million? You know, I'll take it too. Wow, they are just open loading on us right now. I can see investment. Oh, we can use an arms factory, I'm sure. We can use a lot of things, honestly. Even 
more already still on rocket artillery. Yeah, makes sense. Losses, but they're also taking quite a few losses too. That's quite a few. Look at that. Seven. Woo. Great. A king, symbol of might, French might. The king is a central figure of our organic and integralist monarchy, and the great national arbiter serves as a source of authority and symbol of the greatness of France. The king is also a living representation of hundreds of years of traditions, descendants of the great Louis the Ninth, and a friend of the Action Francais. Offering him to make several trips across the country to meet his subjects and show them that they are loved and cherished by the king would be beneficial for the F and the king himself. Nice. Wow, literally no war support. Enemy bombings, civilian combat casualties. Combat casualties, not civilian, but civilian. Combat casualties, my god. Oh, and they're still fighting these guys too, the KMT. Great. Attacking like crazy. They have a lot of manpower though. Look at all these guys I have stacked down there. Off Hong Kong. Oh boy. Yeah, they're just attacking like crazy here, too. <coughs> There's a little eternal legacy. Death is not the end of a man. His ideas continue to exist and be perpetuated. Morales' ideas, the fruits of decades of relentless academic and scientific for reflection, have proved their effectiveness, having enabled us to defeat the godless communards, the decadence of the guise Marianne, and the harmful influence of anti-France in its many forms. Only by following the footsteps of this great man do they intend that they will bring a continued prosperity to the pays of Reales. Or however you pronounce it. Oh, do we have someone captured here? Probably should go get him. Yeah. Ian Fleming, please, go ahead. And then what? Guided by Empirisma Organizatur. Empirisma Organizatur is a method of analysts theorized by Moras that served him in the creation and refinement of many of his ideas and theories. This method consists of analyzing the present in relation to its differences to the past to understand, analyze, and predict the evolution of societies using psychology. Results drawn us allow us to decide our future actions to lead them towards the desired goal, the one that is optimal for the nation. It is only by using this method and teaching that his Morassus thought can evolve all the while staying true to the man. An army to make Antoine Scherer proud. Zephyrin Ant Alexandre Antoine Scherer, one of the Navy's most talented and vice admirals, was one of the few dare to break with the tradition of the Grand Mute to express his support for Auction Francais and the monarchy. Unfortunately, he died in 1936, unable to see the liberation through to a successful conclusion. Now that the army is had to share his Republican character, it's high time to make Schwer a role for the ambitious young officers. Oh, there you go. Nice. Good stuff.
It's also why I want to ask these guys. I'm going to turn this into an oil field here. I may or may not have fully annexed uh, Switzerland too. Just so many convoys. Can you take out Cairo? There you go. Oh, Syria, what the barnacles happened here? Well, it'll make an easy way for us to uh, eliminate them. I wonder if I'm missing all that fuel. And they're still trying to attack us like this. Foolish. Oh yeah. This was a bad idea. I mean, they did really well. They caught me by surprise too. And helps drive units away from here all to the other part of the front, but still. So engines we got small uh, armor plates drop tanks self fueling and extra fuel tanks Oh, you can add more? Eh, we, don't more. we don't want any more than that. I'm sorry about the cast, and the campaign's almost over too, but still. Good, I like that when they're starting for, su for supplies, it's very nice. They are just destroying themselves here. Holy cow. Even the Russian states lost 2.1 million. Jeez Louise. British Reconstruction Authority, Second Republic of Canada. So what happened to them? Social conservatives, you guys are probably pissed off at us. Pick and looper, huh? Reluctant interventionists. Interesting. Any society worthy of the name must be founded on three words order, reason, and liberty. These were the words of Charles Maras. Uh, although no one is unfortunately no longer with us today, will perpetuate his legacy without fail or hesitation. <coughs> it was therefore decided to reduce the number of police officers in the gendarmeries of gendarmeries of the public services um, to replace them with Camelot's to Roy devoted to maintaining order. Who better to assume this heavy task than men who already gave up their lives at any time for the nation and the king? Although our France is stable and slowly function and functionals functions organically, Auntie France is never far away and will try to slowly poison her system and her people. If you not remain vigilant, what in the form of heretical Protestants, Jews, greedy for material possessions, uh, Freemasons, or the quasi-impious and pagan rituals, or even foreigners coming to destroy what makes us proud of you French? Not to mention the Balks, eternal enemy of the French who will watch for any opportunity to try to enslave us. However, none of this will happen because of ancient regime. In France, we were born the day Action Francais took power in Crown Jean III, and as long as we do not give up our power, the French nation will continue to perpetuate this natural order. La France bouge. Or bouge. Good. 
Very true. And that was this. Viva les Camelots du Roi à ma mère. The Federation Nationale des Camelots du Roi, or just Camelots du Roi or Camelots, are undoubtedly Morasso's strongest and most dedicated soldiers. Where the army protects us from external enemies, the brave Camelots protect us from the influence of the anti French, which tries again and again to infiltrate France and corrupt her and destroy the Pays Real. As Camelots du Roi give no quarter to traitors and agents of the anti France. Gain base stability, negative 3%. Well, we get stability. Sixty thousand sol uh, three hundred sixty soldier divisions. I can count. I can read. Oh, they actually did a naval invasion. Look at that. Good job, Netherlands. Oh, god dang it. Engines four, huh? Nice. One capitulate them, finish off Africa, then go back to the side and finish them out that way too. Pull up Tavia, ah. Fate of the Communist soldiers, ever since the collapse of the Communist soldiers, or Communist regime, the common soldiers that served in its army have been in a safe, legal limbo, something that would be completely unsustainable if it allowed to continue for this long. Thus, we must finally settle on a policy towards these men, whatever decision we reach is sure to be controversial. Good job with this. We're not fighting Tehran, which is fine with us. Okay, you killed them off. Even though you're mostly not going to win, we got smashed through all these people fast. I want you guys to finish up here too. Because the faster you can do this, the better. Going all the way through Turkey, going up through, up through here. special about him unfortunately but not everyone can be special all right so that being said you're, jo you're joining down here first we got to take out the Hashimata Arabia we got things around here too Slovakia. There you go. 
Soldiers of the Commune. In the immediate aftermath of the collapse of the Commune Army, most soldiers were quickly detained by their own forces as prisoners of war, while others fled to the forests and hills, either to continue the struggle or simply avoid punishment. Now, however, we must decide on how to treat the soldiers that are in our custody. Hmm. Let's just do this. There are some who argue that everyone who fought for the commune, commune is a war criminal and a traitor to France, although many argue that low ranking government soldiers were only doing their jobs, and while the cause was wrong, they're Frenchmen too and deserve to be allowed to return home and receive the same benefits as our soldiers, like a military pension. Indeed, there are a few who believe that we could allow privates in the commune or army to re enlist with us. Clean records. Oh, we could really use that right now. Nope. Not good. Nice. And you help pay them off. We'll help your infrastructure out. What am I doing, Belgium? And honor heroes. The men who fought for France and the liberation are the greatest heroes that this nation has known in modern times and must be recognized as such. A new program of veterans' benefits and a cultural effort to recognize their heroes and will ensure that the sacrifices that they've made for France are rewarded. Absolutely. Balkans are on fire, but usually, when are they not, you know? Japanese, oh, the Austrians took those guys out, okay. This guys are not attacking anymore. I guess they are thrusting down here, but that ain't doing much, is, is it? Arabia, Turkey, cut off two and a half million Russians, two thirds of a million French, oh, we are French, Japanese, And they're still attacking us. It's amazing how much extreme manpower they have. But it's Russia for you, what do you expect?
Well, it's after Honor Heroes, because the game is extremely laggy now. Uh, restore military prestige. The French military shows what it's made of in the liberation, and it's vital that foreign powers do not perceive as having declined since. New military exercises and a further expanded military doctrine and budget will ensure that a newfound reputation for military prowess is intact. Yeah, that would be great. More division and tech defense? Good. Expand the uh, Doeme uh, Bureau. In future countries, will compete less and less on the battlefield and instead will focus on information and intelligence. You must keep up with this emerging trend and commission new funding for the Demo de Bureau, along with the recruitment effort and much greater research and innovation regarding espionage methods. Nuclear research. Countries across the world are now seeking to develop nuclear bombs capable of destroying entire cities through the splitting of the atom. Some are that these will be the end of humanity, but many optimists argue that if weapons became as dangerous, then countries would do more than to avoid conflict. Either way, for the security of France and the order to deter any attack, we must look to develop our own nuclear weapons of our own. So they're not wrong. That's fine. That's fine. Boop, boop. I don't know if we can do any sort of thrust against these guys at all. And we are pushing through here already, which is great. And we have some mountaineers too. Um, so naval invade us. Oh yeah, the Greeks are back. They're still attacking like absolute craziness. 266 days. Wow. I kind of just want to try and see what happens. But I want to wait till this is done too, because they are going crazy against us. Say real quick. No, you're not high enough yet. All right. Well, we'll see. Could we actually win? It's greenish. Fighting the hills and mountains here. Not a great idea. You can hold. But in the top part here, do some minor damage. We have a lot of planes. We're losing a lot, but they're losing even more. Five, six a day. Just to see if we can take them on. <laughs> That's a lot of plane losses. We have none. Our air defense agility and speed is higher than theirs. We should be just shredding through their planes, but you know, you never know. Into. There you go. Just wanted to see if we could push. And we have pushed a little bit. But it's carrying quite a few casualties, I'm sure. And 3.3 million Russian dead Russians. Just from us. They've up to 340 million. It helps out with real guns too. I like the real guns a lot. Alright, we're calling you in too now. Nice. Good stuff. Kurdistan, great. And it looks like they're... What happened to their allies? Hello? If we're just fighting the Russians, I think we'll win fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, they have more of their allies down here, which is much more difficult, fighting-wise. Are they here? Doing okay.
Should we get supply and whatnot? Um, Path to Greater France, we've just come out of a long phase of reconstruction and beautiful country. Our beautiful country is uh, uh, following the victory over the vile commune arts, ensuring liberation. I already see a French compatriots living tyranny free, or free of tyranny. And those who uh, out of uh, Algeria happen to find their land, its rich fields, and beautiful cities. However, a question arises a country of lower sort is not as powerful worldwide as before, and although we are an undeniably great power, we are no longer the same power over world affairs. Most of our compatriots have the French blood has already been spilled too much, and they would be better to stay on our good side, however. Some members of our staff are pushing on the cuss on the contrary to launch crusaders to the greatness of France. Sure, piss in the sun. The civil war has just ended, it's now time for crazy ambition. Well I mean at this point, you know. Oh. We've chosen her to restore greatness through a military conquest following a successful reconstruction. Uh, oh. oh, we got Riga. Okay, we got Rigo. I'm not sure where that was. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Already our soldiers and people full of patriotism are preparing to embark a new crusade against all enemies of France. And as the Emperor said, impossible is not French. Le Temps Beni des Colonies. One of the richness of our France was this vast colonial uh, empire when many diverse peoples all stood in the heart of the fatherland and the vows of liberty, equality, and fraternity that embodies. Unfortunately, a large part of these fell into the hands of the books who stole them. They think they have forgotten, but France never forgets her sons. The question of the Entente. Now that we begin to assert ourselves onto the world stage once again, a major question arises what about an alliance with the British? Some say that their interests conflict with ours, while others say that their aid and assistance is too valuable, and it will be dishonorable to leave them now. A third position agrees that while the Entente's interests are no longer aligned with ours, they believe that simply leaving the alliance is not enough. Instead, they believe we should form our own alliance. That's a counterweight to the Anglo dominated Entente. All positions hold, but with the debate quickly becoming increasingly heated, a decision must be made quickly. We need more armored cars and artillery still. Oop. And then... We're friends of the British. We're not follow them anymore. France and her allies shall rise from the Entente's ashes. Enter Commonwealth Treaty Organization. The Solar Alliance. Kind of like that. Solar Alliance, which I drug all the rest of the Intercommon Wealth Treaty Organization to fight the co prosperity here, anyways. So, honestly, my job is done. That's exactly what we wanted. Oh, we're no longer with the Entente, so we don't get the fate of Latvia. Yeah, whatever. They're doing that during a, a time like this? Probably a bad idea, but whatever. You know, whatever. A new galactic empire. Uh, well, maybe not a galactic empire, but you know, close enough to it. We're just smashing through Russia at this point. Once their allies left them, they got nothing here. Sure. Second American Central Republic. Oh, crap. Now we're fighting these guys. Oh, come on. We're fighting these guys. Why are we fighting these guys? Well, maybe we should have not done that, man. Well, it is what it is. The Canadians really wanted to come kill us. France is true colonies. Are we going to claim on them? Oh. Africans or men back in Hanoi. The Republican colonization of Africa is oh, well, uh, undoubtedly one of the most heinous crimes of our century. And the wench crushing cultures, customs, and populations impose a French culture bastardized and devoid of Catholicism, yet it's so important to our identity. No real blood brothers are the Indians of America, massacred and martyred by the Americans of the English who put what was left of all the populations in real enclosures. Our ancestors of New France brought peace while respecting the natives, their traditions, and their culture, as well as making them aware of the light of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Let's free the American, Amerindian populations from the Anglo-Saxon yoke for the kingdom and country. A new great piece of Montreal. We, must, we have succeeded in freeing our native brothers from oppression, but we must ensure them that we're not here to oppress them again, but let them prosper. Without imposing a culture on them, and although we will try to spread our faith, there will always be done with respect for the natives who enjoy an increase of time we never seen before. We even organized a new great piece of Montreal to prevent conflicts between Amer Indian tribes. A new era of peace and prosperity opens to the Indians of America. Oh, look at this. On the Grand France. We cannot be satisfied with the present borders. Many of our French brothers and sisters are suffering under the oppression of foreign powers and are calling on their mother to come and save them. We've heard them and already the armies of France are preparing to march for the glory of the country. La Romandie France. The French-speaking population of Romandie is undoubtedly an integral part of the French people. And what a unique connection between the French of Savoy and the Swiss existing, with many French workers going to work in Switzerland and vice versa. The only thing separating us is neither culture nor our language, but our artificial border we must put an end to it at all costs. I don't need this. A very revenge against Italian tra traitors. The Italian traders still need some part of civil war from us in a completely illegal way while our country is collapsing, and the chaos of the civil war, without asking the opinion of the French populations and this territory. Men have stopped them in extremists since their own country was collapsing, but the French people all still remember this treachery. We should remind the Italians of who are the true masters of the Mediterranean, and in reunion with the Belgian brothers. Belgium is an artificial country caused to, created to divide the French, and with success considering the number of Belgians, even those from Wallonia, sharing their language, not identifying themselves as French, which they are, however. It's their duty to enlighten them to show them that they are our brothers despite the artificial war separating us. But I think they it there. They had a pretty successful campaign. It was a very long campaign, and as you can see, the English like to, uh, the Anglos like to backstab us. So, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I fully did. It's great coming back to Kaiser Redux, and we've actually done really, really well. I'm very pleased with how it ended up. Um, Solar Alliance versus the Entente versus the Co Prosperity Sphere. I didn't think I, that would happen, but you know, ooh, these guys. Ooh, ooh, it's not half bad over there. But if you enjoyed the campaign like I did, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great National Populist Malizma rest of your day.